Arginine is an amino acid that can be converted into or incorporated into proteins, and sometimes it's called a conditionally essential amino acid. It's actually made via bacterial fermentation and then purified, and you'll find it as L-arginine hydrochloride, sometimes arginine base, which means nothing else is attached to it, or arginine attached to other organic acids like arginine alpha-ketoglutarate. Arginine actually is used as a direct precursor by the body, especially blood vessels, to make nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a little gas-like molecule or gaseous molecule that opens up blood vessels. That can increase muscle blood flow that can be experienced before or during training and if you want to, try it after. Arginine has been shown in several studies to actually increase blood flow and may, in certain circumstances and in some studies, improve performance. It also can raise insulin if you take large amounts of it, which itself can improve nitric oxide and increase blood flow just through the insulin release from a high dose of arginine. Dosages for arginine can be up to six grams, and some studies have taken up even to higher dosages, but with respect to supporting nitric oxide synthesis, perhaps 1.5 grams one to two times per day in divided doses or even single doses would be adequate to raise blood arginine. Now because arginine is extensively metabolized or broken down by the intestines and the liver, you don't raise blood arginine as high, so you could stack or combine it with citrulline, which gets into the blood and raises blood arginine much higher, almost twice as high as the arginine itself. And then you can even go one step further and add in glutamine, which actually can be used to convert into citrulline and you get a, a three-pronged approach to raising blood arginine through arginine, citrulline as a precursor to arginine, and glutamine as a precursor to citrulline.